Hi everybody. I'm, I've been experimenting with Cube Spectrum 2 um, with some sort of semi-extreme variables in here, um, trying to see if I could uh, produce a more accurate uh, one-week um, prediction. Um, so I've got Cube Spectrum 2 set up with temporary uh, instead of permanent cycles an RPO of 20,000 um, and I'm just looking at a period between 4.2 and 10.4 days using 30 minute bars that, equi that equates to 200 to 500 bars. I've got the uh, LBC in back testing mode, uh, the SMS3 stock memory and the sample size is 29. Um, FSM1, OV1, and so what I would do is click Calculate. Next, and just rely on Auto Selection for now. So I'm going to click Auto Selection right here, and move that out of the way and take a look. Uh, so the price to the right where it's pink is um, invisible to the program. Okay, so this is as if um, uh, the actual date was July 2nd. Um, so now I'm taking a look at um, shall I keep this cycle as is or invert it? And that reverses everything. And notice that um, in the last day, or Friday, that we have a definite down movement. So in inverting this curve, I'm matching the curve to what's going on here. Okay, so I'm looking at the July 4th was a Monday. Um, U.S. markets were closed, but the world was still trading Forex. Um, so we have down until Friday and then um, and up, possibly. And one of the caveats here is that Friday is kind of the Wild West with the New York session. Options are closing, um, uh, accounts are being settled, so you really need to take keep an eye on, on the Friday action or perhaps even close out um, the uh, trade on Friday. Anyway, let's take a look as I move this forward. Um, and here's the, the result here. Um, so had we not closed out and just gone long, there would have been a few pips um, gain in here. Nothing big. Anyway, so moving forward, I'm going to repeat this process. Hit Calculate. Erase the last Auto selection. So we have a new curve completely. Click auto selection. And once again, um, evaluate whether we need to invert or keep this. It's right now it's inverted. Um, so um, I'm looking at Friday again. This is a little more subtle, but notice that so we have this nice upswing here. And if I come back to the beginning of Friday, it's still up, but this is showing down, so I'm going to invert this back to plus 100. Okay, and we've got um, the situation here. So let's take a look. If I set LBC forward, okay, pretty nice. It's coming down nicely and then heading back up through Friday. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close, so I'm going to take it. So that's that's it. I just keep going forward, back testing this same way. Um, bring this over, erase this, recalculate. Hit auto selection decide whether it's the last cycle should be plus 100 or minus 100 inversed. So
So, um, hmm, this is a bit tricky. I'm seeing this down action at the end of Friday. Um, I'm going to just intuitively make this minus and reverse all this. Another indication is the swing high here and this swing high and Friday's close is lower than that swing. So let's take a look. Reveal. And that hit it nicely too. Um, oftentimes the New York session, again as I mentioned, can be volatile. Things, um, you know, you can again decide just to get out of the, the trade Friday or another option is to recalculate at this point and see what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to keep going right along here. So this business of inversion, when to invert, not to invert, I don't think it's a cosmic issue out there. I just think it's a, a nuance of the program. And um, so here we have a new calc. I'm going to hit auto selection. And once again, OK, hmm. From this swing, we've got an upward movement, we've got an upward movement, we've got an upward movement, and this is coming down, so I'm going to invert it. And let's see how that worked out. Okay, it was a choppy week ending flat, but we gain these pips here, and again, hmm. uh, so it, it, it wasn't a tremendous week, but it still was positive. Okay, again, I would be out Friday. Another thing is to recalculate it, just reset your LBC to Friday and do another calculation. And let me erase this, re-hit auto select. And let's see what that did. Um, well, it came down into the New York Open. Uh, this is 9 o'clock, 9.30 and then it, it took off in the opposite direction. So I could see even what would happen here. I have no idea if I recalculate again. Yep, it's going up into the close here. So let me reveal that. Yep. So, um, so basically keep an eye on things on Friday. Recalculate if you need to. Um, let me bring the LBC out to include that data and see what happens for the following week. Erase this auto selection I'm seeing this swing high because of this swing here and again it's hard to figure out but we've got this high this high and an eventual low here so I'm going to invert it And let's take a look what happened here. Up through Wednesday midweek and then down. Oh, I got it backwards. Um, well, we gained some here, lost some, and then ended flat. 
so pretty much it's a wash that week. Uh, I'm going to say if I take it from Friday exactly and go to the close, that's an up movement. So that would have fixed that one. So this is probably the hardest part of the entire process is figuring out um, which way to move here. Um, I've been experimenting with a neural net. Let me show you that. Uh, it's getting long. This video, I'm at 10 minutes already, but um, it seems like the predominant positive cycle is here at 7.4 days. Um, so I'm going to take the neural net and set it up for intraday change here. And over here, extract cycles from spectrum, and I'm going to find a 7.4. So let me erase all this, erase this, and 7.4. I'll just click right in here, select, OK, OK. Um, training. With this particular method, I found that it's not necessary to uh, train it for very long, like one or two um, refreshes here. Even the first one will be fine. Now, this is a little thing that I have to ask Sergey about. Uh, let me hit stop main window and bring that over and let's see what this did hmm. I kind of got the same <laughs> so that didn't work this week um, remember I had the curve inverted here this way and neural net would have confirmed this so that didn't it wasn't a good thing um, let me try one more shot and not pick out a specific so i'm going to leave intra intraday change i'm going to clear all this out extract cycles but use all the cycles it picks and see what happens Say OK. We've got them in here. OK. And training. stop main window bring it to the main um, yeah that's a lot better looking um, just get rid of that for a second we could have traded off of just this neural net here um, okay so you know let's just see what happened on the following week Yep, it showed an up movement. I wonder what happened, how far out we can go with this. Nope, by the second week out, it didn't work well. Yeah, not great. Let me try it with my system again, with Q Spectrum 2. One more, and then we'll end the video. Auto select. Let's turn this on. And we've got to get rid of the neural net because I didn't recalculate it. Um, and this is looking good here with a beautiful um, 
from this swing high right down into the close Friday. So I'm going to leave this as is, which is last cycle inverted 100%. Beautiful. So again, right down, we could recalculate Friday and see if we get a downswing or just get out of the trade. So, okay, folks, um, that's what I'm up to these days. And give it a try. Again, this is Euro USD. Um, theoretically, this should work for any instrument, but give it a shot and good luck. Take care.